And a new development from the Green Party today. One of their candidates has stepped down in the Ontario riding of Simcoe North. This comes after a controversial social, social media post surfaced of him recently. Following this is our Megan Bachelor. So, Megan, what's behind this re resignation? Well, Andrew, as you said, with most of these sorts of things of candidates dropping out of races, it goes back to a social media post. In this case, it was a Facebook post made by this candidate, Eric Showman, back in 2007. Um, it shows him and a few other people at a, doing a pig roast, and the caption suggests that they are going to send the leftovers of the pig roast to uh, Muslims. Of course, we know Muslims don't eat pork. That is part of their religious beliefs. Um, this was in reference to uh, um, protests happening in Denmark. Um, that was back uh, in 2005 after a Danish newspaper published a photo, uh, a criticism, a uh, cartoon, pardon me, of the Prophet Mohammed. And it was actually the National Council of Canadian Muslims that first called for Showman's resignation. Yesterday, they said that this was an abomination, that he should not be running for the Green Parties because of this old post back in 2007. And then today, the Green Party says that it has now accepted his resignation. They did email out a statement this morning saying, um, in part, that his resignation is, as, has been accepted as a candidate in Simcoe North. The Green Party has zero tolerance for sexism, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, misogyny, homophobia, or any sort of hate speech of any kind. No word yet, Andrew, if the Green Party is going to be replacing this candidate. And this isn't the first candidate to step down because of controversy just in recent days. Yeah, that's right. We're just two days into this election and we're seeing a lot of candidates from all the different parties um, quitting or resigning. Uh, so let's start with the NDP. They've lost two candidates already this week. First off, let's talk about a Montreal candidate. His name is Olivio, Olivier Machu. He's facing accusations of domestic assault from his former wife. After learning that her ex-husband was going to be running, she took to foot Facebook to make these accusations and then he has now decided to resign. He denies these accusations but does not want to be a distraction for this election. Next up is a candidate from BC, Doc Curry. He resigned yesterday over posts made on Facebook two years ago. The party describes those posts as being uh, a little aggressive. They were towards two pro-pipeline activists. Uh, they also were made, those comments were made a number of years ago as well, but he made the decision to resign so he wouldn't be a distraction as well for the NDP. And of course, we know the Liberals too are not safe from this. Um, they dumped a candidate from Quebec, Hassan Guillet. He was a liberal candidate. He made some posts on Facebook that some are suggesting were anti-Semitic. Um, his defense, though, was that he made these posts a long time ago and that perhaps the vetting process should be a little bit more strict. And of course, we also know, mm -hmm. Andrew, that uh, these parties have until September 30th to firm up their candidate lists. All right, Megan, thank you. You're welcome.